Good morning. We're going to make an apple peach dump cake. And I got it out of this book here that was given to me by my friend. And it is the favorite brand name recipes. So let's get started and I'll tell you what we need this morning. We need two cans, 24 ounces of apple pie filling. Well, mine happens to be um, 21 ounces apple pie filling. We need peaches. Two, let's see, the peaches, you need two cans or um, a 30 ounce can. I had a 30 ounce can of sliced peaches. Then you needed some cinnamon and nutmeg. A yellow cake mix of your choice a stick of butter, and some spraying um, for your choice with your pan. You wanna spray your pan, and my pan, you, they asked for a uh, uh, 13 by nine. So, here we go. Let me pan you down here, and we'll get started. There you go right there. Okay, it says preheat the oven, which I just did. You heard the dinghy go off. You want to spread the apple pie filling in the prepared pan and the peaches. So there's the apple going right in. Just like that. Thought I had my Grammy spoon out, but I didn't, but we'll just take this one. Just like that. Get all that goodness out. Now, myself, I'm not a fond of apple pie filling in the can, but if you have your own, that would be great. You could use that. But I haven't made any up yet this year, and I'm not quite sure I'm going to. But with me, you never know. And now we're going to put our peaches in. Just like this. We're just going to put them right in sporadically. I love peaches. I don't know about you all, but peaches are one of my favorites. Fruits. I love it when we get the Georgia Fresh Peaches here in Maine. Mmm, mmm, chikalaka. I love it. Let's spread that out just a little like this. Just like that. We got a little thing on the apple here. Oops. Not sure what it is. Just a little spot. Oh, it's appealing. It's all right. It will be fine. Once you get the apples and the peaches in the pan, you want to sprinkle a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I will measure because I have my glasses. Yay! I'm pretty generous with my with my um, sprinkles here, so. Who doesn't like cinnamon? Oh, and it smells so good. And then you want to go a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So, so happy I can whip right around and not have to put something up close to my nose to say, well, what is it? Now I can just tell. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm gonna have to call Ray and tell him to bring home some vanilla ice cream tonight. He's working. We don't have any, we have whipped cream, but vanilla ice cream I think would be much better. And then after you do that, you want to top it off with your cake mix. Again, a yellow cake mix of your choice. I'm gonna sprinkle that right on. You want to use the whole thing. 
And if you noticed, I drained the juice out of my um, peaches because I don't like a wet dump cake. Sometimes they come out too wet for me. I don't like wet pies either. Ray likes his all sloppy, wet, juicy. Mm -mm. Not me. Okay, just like this. And of course, I always say you should have clean hands. My hands are clean. We're just gonna take it like this. I'm gonna spread it a little. Try to even it up just a tad, just like that. Just like that. And then I'm lightly gonna press it down. You don't need to kill it, just lightly press it. You don't have to use those big muscles. Just like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna sprinkle another half a teaspoon of cinnamon on top. And if you have a container that sprinkles, that, that's even better. But when you don't, you just shake, shake, shake. And do the best you can. I used to keep a um, salt and pepper shaker out just so when I was baking, I could fill it and it gives you better control. And then you want to go back in and you want to put a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg on. And then it's going to be ready for the oven. One thing I always do, there's a good seal on this nutmeg. I have trouble opening this bag. That's okay. Keeps it nice and fresh that way. Just like this. And you're just going to sprinkle that over it. Here, there, and everywhere. I didn't get too much down. So I'm just going to take my fingers. And there you have it right there. So now we're going to put it in the stove and bake it for one hour until the top gets lightly brown. We're going to check it with a toothpick and see if it comes out clean. And you want to let it cool about 15 minutes before you check it. So there you have it right there. An apple peach dumb cake going in the oven. Mmm, smells so good. Bet you forgot I felt the butter. Guess what? I picked it up, went to go put in the oven, and I said, oh, shoot, I forgot the butter. No problems. We're putting it on right now. One stick of butter on top. This is what gives the golden crust of the cake. Makes it look so yummy. It's going to taste so good. Gosh, I'm standing over this nutmeg and cinnamon. Oh, I'm drooling. I hope I don't drool on the cake. If I do, I'll have to start over, won't I? I'm going to give a shout out too before we finish this video. And it's to a sweet lady that I've been watching her channel a lot. And I've been learning a lot from her channel. So when I put the link in and give her a shout out, if you like it, please go ring her bell. Let her know that Brenda sent you over, Maniac Grammy. So there you go. Right now, I'll finish this up, put it in the oven. Okay, folks, here it is right here, all done. I've let it set for 10 minutes. And I was looking for a special spatula that was my grandmother's, but can't find it. We're gonna test it. Comes out clean. Well, where is it? There you go, it come out clean. It's all done. So I have a few different things here because I wanna make sure it comes out nice. Ray is not home, so that means I don't get any ice cream, but I'll have to eat it plain. But you know something? That's okay because I am watching my weight and 
I really don't need to have anything that adds more calories. I like the, the crust. It came out really nice. I really like the way it's coming out. I think I'll try this piece here. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Look at that. Wasn't sure how it was going to come out. Had my little pie scooper here too. Now, let me bring it up. Well, hi everybody, am I not scaring you? Ooh. Here it is right here. Doesn't this look great? Really yummy. Dum -da -dum. I have a shout out and it's going to Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. And she does all sorts of crafts and a little bit of cooking, a little bit of everything. She does a lot of live streams and when she's live streaming, she does her craft. So go on over there and tell her that Mania Grammy sent you. And that's Nana's Cooking Craft Corner and I'll put it in the description box below. So let's get started. We don't want this to get cold. It's nice and warm. Taking a little bit of everything here. Mm. Mm. Peach and cinnamon taste great. Everything. I am surprised how good the crust, look at the crust. Came out great. Mm. Here's, here's the apple. Get a get the apple and the peach and a little bit of crust all in one. Mmm. Very, very good. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. And if you're not subscribed, please go over and hit that bell. And all that follow. Thank you. And again. This is apple peach cobbler cake, and it's really, really good. So don't forget to check out Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. I'll put everything in the description box below, including the recipe. So have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.